I have come here to chew bubblegum and vacuum seal ammo. And I'm all out of bubblegum. All the way like that. Whoa. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey, what's up YouTube? Double Watch Josh coming at you guys today with my 90th vacuum sealing video. And today we're going to continue with this American Eagle 556 62 grain green tip that I showed you in the previous videos. And so to begin, we got to take some measurements, of course. Here's the bag from the previous video. And when you look at the bag itself, you'll notice that you need about one inch of seal down here. And then for this top portion, you're going to need about four inches. All right, so the next thing you want to do is measure the cartridge itself. So let's go ahead and take one out and let me show, show it to you guys. And I know a lot of the viewers out there are already very familiar with these. But um, when you measure just the height, you'll see that it's about two and a quarter inches tall. All right, so when you take those three measurements, you know, the one and the four inches from the bag itself plus the two and a quarter from the cartridge itself, you're gonna come up with seven and a quarter. So that's how much we're going to cut from our roll of bag up top here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, that looks like about uh, seven and a quarter. Let's go ahead and cut it out. All right, let's uh, look at the cut. It looks pretty even. All right, so right now what we have is a sleeve and we need to turn this into a bag. So what we're gonna do is press seal on the machine. You'll see the red light of death pop up. And then when you look at the piece of plastic itself, you'll notice that one side curls down. And if you're not sure which side curls down, you can always see which side is more transparent or smooth and which side is more textured. So the smooth side is the one that's gonna be uh, facing downward. So let's go ahead and feed it into the machine, just like this. And as soon as the machine starts working, I usually like to give it extra slack. I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference, but meh, I don't think it can hurt. All right, and here's the first seal. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, the instructions say to wait at least 20 seconds between seals, and right now it's a five, 559 um, and so you know while the machine's cooling down I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, start loading up cartridges inside the bag and from one of the previous videos you'll know that we've already counted it out and you need about 25 if you just want a single stack <laughs> or just like a single row I should say not a single stack and uh, the other thing I'm doing is like um, flipping them upside down so that they're facing opposite directions. That way you don't have too many like spikes poking up like that to, that could like puncture the bag later on. This way they're a little bit better cushioned and they fit a little bit better and it's a little bit more flat. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and load up uh, this bag with 25 cartridges. And the last thing I wanna mention is I'm gonna just leave the smooth side down, this transparent side down, because when I'm ready to feed it inside the machine, I just wanna be able to just kinda like, you know, uh, kinda like glide it across the table like that, not really have to pick it up or anything because the cartridges do move around quite a bit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put 25 in here. And of course I'm gonna speed this up. I, don't, I really doubt anybody wants to watch this. All 
All right, I think that might be 25. Let's go ahead and give it a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yep, that's 25. All right, so the next thing you want to do is try to, you know, get them well seated in the bottom of the bag. So what I like to do is kind of like maybe kind of push them forward a little bit and uh, just kind of like massage them in there for lack of a better word. I know that kind of sounds weird. You're massaging cartridges inside of a bag but yep that's kind of what you're you want to do here caress them in there i guess you could say all right yeah just kind of like work them in all right that looks pretty good and you don't want to be too rough here or else you could puncture the bag and you know then how are you going to seal out all the air right all right that looks pretty good i'm just gonna kind of give i'm just gently pushing all of them kind of downward Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I think we're good to go. All right, so the next thing we want to do is normally you would want to check your time and make sure at least 20 seconds have passed, which, you know, this is really uncalled for, but 604.16 on the second hand. And so we're ready to feed it inside the machine. And just like I mentioned earlier, we have the curled side down, the um, transparent side facing the bottom. And what I like to do is give the cartridges a good little uh, kind of, or give the bag a um, kind of like a good squeeze or pinch the sides here and pull the bag nice and tight as close to the cartridges as possible and then I'm going to feed it inside the machine and as soon as the machine starts working I'm gonna shove the whole thing forward to again give it as much slack as possible so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> All right, and I've just released it. Let's take a look at the top seal. Looks good. All right, here's the cartridges. Looking sexy as always. Yeah, man. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop gawking at these, <laughs> at all these uh, rounds in the bag and uh, go ahead and say the usual, which is, as always, Thanks for watching, subscribing, and have a good night.